In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to join separate cloth objects. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well, I'm going to show you a couple of um, options. So this one here is it's, it's a basic flag that I've made, English flag, but it's made of um, two separate objects or planes so if I just join these together by holding control J if I then go ahead and place a cloth physics on this I don't think it will drop and do whatever I want but unfortunately the minute I go ahead and pin it say if I pin this here, select these two in this corner. I'm assuming you've got some knowledge here of uh, working in Blender. So that's assigned that. And then back to object mode. And somewhere down here in shape, I'll select the group. Now, although this is one object, or Blender treats it as one object, the minute I put any uh, sort of physics or cloth physics on, it'll still break. So to overcome that problem, just go back into edit mode. And because I've made this um, very simple um, and all the vertices are virtually on top of one another, I can just press A to select everything, right click, and then next to merge vertices, I can just select by distance. Now, this works fine if you make your own, uh, I don't know, dresses, shirts, trousers, flags, whatever. Um, this will work fine. So if I just come back to this, press play, the cloth holds together however and this is where things get a little bit more complicated if for instance you've imported a dress this is a make human um, dress and although it again blender treats this as a single object if I now press play it will break So this can be a problem with some imported, um, or even objects um, that you uh, want to work with. And it can be very difficult to actually join these together, no matter what you do. So you've got a few options, and hopefully this one I'm going to show you now will work in most instances, but not all. So if I just go back to the beginning here, I'm just going to deselect the cloth for now and make sure the dress is selected. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to press A to select everything. And then I'm going to press P and select by loose parts. I'm going to go back to object mode and select one item of cloth or clothing. In this instance, it'll be the one at the bottom. And I'm just going to drag it down. I'll use the, um, the little blue Z arrow here. So I've got a fairly big gap. And then I'm going to hold down shift, reselect the top half of this dress, and then press Control J to join it back together again. And back into edit mode. And this is where things can be a bit difficult I'm going to select in fact let's go into solid view I'm going to select a couple of vertices at this bottom edge here make sure they're connected come up to select select edge loops come down to the triangle press plus and you should have a group comes up here and then press assign 
and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide where I want to join this and again yours will be totally different to mine so this is just to give you a rough idea of one way you can do this you have to do it this way otherwise if I try to merge the um, this dress the way I did the flag you'll, you'll end up in all sorts of troubles so I'm going to select a couple of vertices here it's going to be difficult for you to see make sure they're in line and then come back up to select select edge loops and then with your triangle selected press plus so you get group zero zero one and then hit assign press one on your numbers pad go into front view and then get yourself in a position where you can select all of the area you need to select and then wireframe and I'm just going to box select through the whole of the bottom of this dress back into solid view up here and what you'll need to do is try and get this as close to well this top of this dress to the close to the bottom of the top of the dress for want of a better word so I'm gonna really zoom in position myself in a good sort of position and I'm gonna press G followed by Z to lock this in and I'm gonna drag this up so it's as close as possible to the under edge if you don't do this when you come to merge you'll start merging these sort of vertices here as well um, if you've done it the way I did with the flag so this should work okay now I'm going to just press alt a to deselect everything and then I'm gonna select the first row of vertices or loop and then I'm going to select this one and now if I right click again I can go to merge vertices by distance and I'll just go into preview or material preview view up here and very carefully if you open up this merge by distance box by selecting the arrow start dragging the merge distance take it a bit at a time don't go mad just check that you haven't got any gaps now you can play around with this you may have to try it a few times so I'm gonna go for I don't know let's go for that there hopefully that will work you may have to go back and adjust this you can keep going back into edit mode after you've um, selected your cloth physics so let's just try this okay I'm gonna go back to object mode um, physics little button here physics properties cloth and select self collision because I don't want the inside showing and let's have a look see what this looks like and that's working fine and that is how you join or how you can join an object that seems to be made of two and doesn't stick together it's worked perfectly fine this dress has a problem here obviously I need to pin this but this isn't the point of this tutorial and I think that's worked as well as I can possibly get this to work because I didn't make this dress myself hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers